God's not going to ask you to do something and not give you the power to do it. God is not going to ask you to do something and not give you the power to do it. If you begin to feel that God is telling you that you need to separate from some certain friends that you have because they're poisoning your soul and they're just not good for you and they're always dragging you down and they're not living the kind of life that you're trying to live and they're always tempting you to go to the wrong places and get involved in the wrong things. Come on, am I talking to anybody? If you sacrifice, now listen, if you sacrifice the thing you're holding on to that's actually making you sick, There's going to be a little pain, a little discomfort in your soul. But then there's a resurrection. After there's a death, there's a resurrection. Some of you care way too much what people think of you. My gosh, I went through that for years. Reputation, reputation, reputation. What are people going to think? And you know what? You just have to die to your reputation and get to the point where you don't care what they think. Well, you may go through for a period of time where that's going to really be painful. But then, after a while, you, I mean, there's no freedom like not needing to impress anybody. Oh, my gosh. That is so wonderful to just be able to be who you are and not be overly concerned about what people think, not need to impress them or to keep up with them or to compete with them or to compare with them. But I'd like to tell you that I was saved on Monday and by Tuesday I had all that, but that's not the truth. It's been a journey and a long journey. And I think sometimes my, maybe the initial part of our journey is the hardest for a couple of reasons. One, we're not, we're not accustomed to not doing what we want to do. And so you have to kind of get used to that. Secondly, we don't know very much. We need to be educated. And so even me just sharing this with you hopefully will help you because we can't cooperate with what God's trying to do in our life if we totally just don't even understand what he's trying to do. And so I think the initial part is maybe the hardest. That's why sometimes we really need people to help mentor us and we need people that will pray for us and, and we need good Christian friends that will encourage us in our initial walk with God. So we, we step out on this journey, but there are obstacles in our way. Now the soul is an interesting thing because God wants to use our soul, but Satan also wants to use our soul. God wants to speak through your mouth, but the devil wants to speak through your mouth. God wants to think through your mind, but the devil wants to think through your mind. God wants to act through your will. He wants your decisions to be in line with him, but the devil wants your decisions to be in line with him. So there's this war that we find ourselves in. It's like we feel sometimes like we're always being pulled in two different directions. I will tell you that it gets easier. Every time you make a decision for God, the next time you make a decision for God, it's a teeny tiny bit easier than it was the last time. And every decision you make for God, it kind of like multiplies the effect of how it's going to affect you the next time because you see the benefits 